Born from Canada's pioneering experiments in nuclear physics, Atomic Energy of Canada, a government laboratory, was charted with developing atomic power and understanding its hazards. They created the Can-Do Reactor design in the 1950s, built in Canada and dozens of other countries, and produced medical isotopes for use around the world. Atomic Energy of Canada researched the effects of ionizing radiation, and Dr. Harry Ng, a nuclear physicist at the laboratory, came up with a simple, reliable way to monitor a person's dose or the amount of radiation exposure. It was originally developed to detect potentially deadly exposure in the nuclear industry and in later years made its way into space. Dr. Ng called it the bubble detector. We'll let Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield explain. These instruments are placed around various ISS modules and each detector is filled with a clear polymer gel inside which are liquid droplets. And when a neutron strikes the test tube, a droplet may be vaporized. This creates a visible gas bubble in the polymer. Each bubble, which represents uh, neutron radiation, is then placed within an automatic reader and counted. The more bubbles, the more radiation exposure. Simple, reliable. The Canadian government lab sought to spin off the technology into the private sector. In 1988, Dr. Ng took up the challenge, left the lab, and formed what is today Bubble Technology Industries. Bubble detectors are used worldwide in hospitals, power facilities, manufacturing facilities, submarines, and space. Radiation is much more intense in space than on Earth because our planet protects us from most of the radiation. The Canadian Space Agency has fostered the use of bubble detectors on Mir, Space Shuttle, and ISS missions. Today, the expertise of bubble technology industries is in worldwide demand. Their products help monitor humans not only in hazardous situations, but help screen for exposure at public events, airports, medical offices, and disaster sites. Bubble detectors, used on Earth and in space, to help keep us safe.